Hey everyone, I'm back again with another short supplemental video in support of my review for the Zoomer Kitty Interactive Robotic Cat. Now this cat is quite different from the Zoomer Dinos that I've recently reviewed. Uh, first of all, she has four legs and uh, four roller wheels instead of two. That makes big differences to her balance. Uh, very hard to knock her over. And um, several other differences as well that I'm mostly going to focus on here in this video. The rest of the written review, I'll post a link to it down below. So if you want to read a lot of detail, that'll be in there. But anyway, let's just take a look up close to see what all she's got going on. First of all, she's got these soft, flexible whiskers. She's got sort of a rubberized tail here. Down below, you've got your on and off switch. And you've also got your little connector port for your uh, USB charging cable. Center right over here. Now that's what comes with it. So you're you're basically all set. There's no batteries required whatsoever for this thing. It's got one built in there. That's all you have to think about. Um, also up under the chin, you can see the little speaker. Um, and what's really interesting about this cat, and it's totally different from the Zoomer Dinos, is that she has uh, basically touch sensors in her head, in her ears, in her cheeks, places like that. And if you uh, rub her the right way and stuff, she will purr. Uh, she she reacts basically to whatever you do if you go against the grain sometimes she gets a little bit upset with that um, I'm going to turn it on in a sec here and sort of try to see if we can get her to play uh, but another main difference that I want to mention from the Zoomer Dinos is that the Zoomer Kitty does not have a handheld remote control so you can't actually make her just go any old place you want you're kind of uh, at her mercy on this one but she does come with this really neat uh, kitty toy here and when you kind of get it going up in front of her eyes sometimes it'll catch her attention not 100% of the time but most of the time and then she'll uh, her eyes will go blue and then she's in play mode and then you hit the back button and she'll do all sorts of interesting tricks she sings she dances she sometimes barks like a dog uh, very crazy stuff. But I just want to read to you quickly what the four modes are. So there's auto mode, that's the green eyed mode, and that's the default. So when you turn it on, she's in auto mode, and you can kind of do the rubbing and get her to purr and things like that. Then when the eyes go blue, that's when you hit the play mode and she can do all the tricks from the back button. She also has a cuddle mode. Now this one's when uh, she's kind of feeling like she's ready to sort of settle down a bit and not so hyper anymore. And she'll purr and that sort of thing. And then finally she has a pounce mode where she's just after everything. So I'll switch her on and see what we can get her to do. She hasn't been 100% cooperative with me. I'm going to hit the back button here. Okay, kitty. Let's see if I can get you to chase your little uh, kitty ball here. Let's see if she can pick up on it. Oops. I think she's kind of picking up on it a bit. Ah, uh, here. Her eyes are blue. Let's hit the back button. Whoa. Let's see what she wants to do. She goes a little nuts at times. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try rubbing her ears. Oh, there she purrs. Let's go the wrong way here and see if we can get her upset about it. I think that sound means she's not really enjoying that too much. Now, if she does happen to fall over on her side, she can get a little bit upset about that as well and she'll start crying. But after two or three cries, she will actually start to go to sleep and we'll see if she'll uh, start snoring here. There she goes. So there's lots of fun stuff that you can do with this cat. It's totally different from the dinosaurs but uh, different maybe in a good way for the most part. That's pretty much all I had to say. Read the rest of the review for full details, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time.